My name is Daniel Kellek, and I'm dead. Tonight, my daughter Mara ran a dagger through my heart. It all began in 1979, right after my wedding. My wife Emma and I went to Europe for our honeymoon. Before we returned to the Americas, my wife convinced me to visit the land of my forefathers, Montenegro. She stayed at a friend's house in the Netherlands, while I traveled to the Balkans. At Podgorica, I visited the crypt of the Kellogg family, where I met a mysterious man named Jovan. Thoughtless, I agreed to go with him so he would tell me more about the Kellogg family, since he was a Kellogg too. He said that in the times of King Karajorcevich, a gypsy woman cursed my grandfather, dooming him to die young and to become a mullo. Furthermore, the scrolls would be passed on to his lineage. Evidently, I didn't know what was a mullo. Jovan told me that he was one already, and that in Montenegro they were called tenats, and in Serbia, vampir. Back in the Americas, I fell seriously ill and with no apparent natural cause, I died. I was buried, but soon afterwards, I wasn't inside my grave anymore. In this new life as a living dead, I was overwhelmed with a huge sexual hunger and an unstoppable desire to be with Emma once again. I went back to her every night for several months, feeding on her psychic energy until our daughter Mara was born. Then I decided to leave them and to go far away so I wouldn't harm them anymore and I wouldn't weaken Emma any further. For two decades, I paid nightly visits to infinite number of women to satiate my hunger. Most of them thought that my visits were only erotic dreams and in the meantime, they would give me life and power and I never grew older. In the end, I came back to look for Emma because I missed her tremendously. But she had changed very much. She looked too old for her age. Then, a young and beautiful woman walked in the room. I looked at her for a moment and I was fascinated almost forgetting about my own wife. The following nights, I visited this lovely young woman, and I made her believe that it was a dream. And so, I fell madly in love with my own daughter, Mara. Emma somehow knew what was happening, and died of exhaustion and anguish. She was buried at the same cemetery in which my mortal remains were supposed to rest. Our daughter visited her a few times. I would take human form and watch her at a prudent distance. But the time that she came along with an old antiquarian whom I met before dying, I decided to follow them. To my surprise, Emma had talked to the antiquarian about us, and now he intended to tell those things to Mara. He also had books on the Vampiri that mentioned the child of a vampire and a mortal woman, the Dampir. I couldn't allow him to alienate Mara from me, so I killed him. Mara ran away, and I knew that I had to find her that same night, or I would lose her forever. Mara didn't seem to know where she was going, but she was coming to me, because the connection between us was the most powerful force I have ever known. I turned myself into a young woman 
so Mata would trust me. And once inside my hideout, I tried to convince her. I felt that Mara loved me as much as I loved her, and that we belonged to each other. But suddenly she stuck the dagger in my heart, destroying the power that allowed me to exist, and fulfilling her destiny as a Dampira, which was to eliminate the vampire that had been her father. Mara went away, leaving me condemned to an eternal solitude in the limbo in which I now reside. Nonetheless, her body remained with me, because even though she was a Dampira, she couldn't avoid the curse that turns all Kelex into vampires. Now she's a Vampueta, and every night she satiates her hunger while she seeks for the man that could love her like I did, and that could become someday her eternal mate.